everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well so another vlog it's always a vlog let's see what happens today um don't know what i've got to show you at this point usually when i do these i'm not gonna lie the first part of the video i usually film last so i know what's coming up in the video so i have to try and remember to act like i don't know and i probably fail miserably but this time i really don't know what's gonna happen because i'm just starting from the beginning of the day and starting from scratch obviously if not a lot happens this video will be filmed over the course of a few days but i'm hoping that it'll be a good one and um, we're taking all those parcels today i'm going to show you what we've got to take with us obviously we don't drive so you'll see what we actually have to do <laughs> to take our stuff to get to get sent and that's why a lot of times we will get it collected but at the moment we just thought we may as well do it we want to get out i've got to take my son for a haircut i've got to go have a patch test for when i get my hair done it's my birthday tomorrow and my birthday present off rob is getting my hair done which i think is way overdue <laughs> to be honest not the present just getting my hair done but i'm one of these people that i don't really look after myself I make sure my family have everything first and the house has everything and we buy stock and then I think about that later. So Rob's like, do you want to get your hair done? And I'm like, do you know what? Yeah, that's a great present. So that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully, maybe on the next video or so, depending on when I get my appointment, I'll have glamorous hair. We'll see. <laughs> I know some of you have said my hair's lovely anyway, but believe me, it is not... It is very dry, it needs some attention, and I need to get rid of these greys. I will look so much younger. I can't wait. I'm like a movie star. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, like if you enjoy the video, please. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the bell for notifications, and let's get into it. I'm sorry about the noise in here. My son is currently playing Fortnite, so it's pretty loud. Um, I just want to show you all what we are carrying <laughs> and bearing in mind we're walking about 20 minutes to get all this dropped off. So the trolley is full, two parcels on the top of there, then Rob's got this bag and that bag underneath it. That one's on wheels though so it's not too bad but yeah all the parcels that were on the stairs, if you follow me on Instagram go look at the parcel pick. That is all in here so yeah that's what we're taking today. I've done it again, peeps. I do apologise. Anyway, this rug has gone for just over £11 plus postage. It's been a quick sale. Really happy. This doll went for £18.50. Um, quite glad it's gone, to be fair. It's a bit on the creepy side. It winks when you push its stomach, as I've showed on a previous video. Another quick sale, though. Really pleased with that. Um, this cap, Rob picked it up a while ago, realised it was women's. It went for £4 plus postage. Not something I'd buy again. And these trousers, um, Laura Ashley they are, they cost me £5. They've gone for £12 on Vinted plus postage, so that's okay. So yeah, it's a couple of days later now. I've had my birthday. It was lovely. Um, we've managed to take all those parcels. Crazy. Um, so yeah, I've got a few bits to show you today. I was really naughty yesterday. <laughs> Even though it was my birthday and we went out, I managed to get Rob into two charity shops. <laughs> so I got a couple of things to show you. Um, but yeah, I am sorry for not showing you the sales properly again. Obviously, it was my birthday, so I parceled things up quick. And then I was like, ah, I didn't video them. But I've got a few things to show you that I will actually get out today and video. Um, and I've got some things to show you as well that I've been given by my friend Laura and by my daughter Hayley that I am going to list on my eBay today. It's always lovely when people give you stuff to help you with your business. I think the more people you tell about what you do, then they think to give you things. And I always say to them, you know, anything that you're getting rid of, we're grateful for, thank you. But if I can't sell it, do you mind if I donate it? So the charity shops get a lot as well which is nice um so yeah helping out with charity and getting some stuff to list by people giving us stuff which is beautiful it's beautiful <laughs> um 
I've got questions to answer. I've got all sorts to do today, so we'd better get on with it, haven't we? I feel like I'm doing an intro again when I've already done one at the beginning of the video, so I'm sorry if this is a bit confusing. I aren't meaning to do my intro voice. I am in my intro place, but, you know. Anyway, we'll get on with it now. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we play a game? Let's see if we can guess what these two items are. I picked them up yesterday and um, there's no footage. I was going to do some footage, but I just wasn't brave enough. I'd had a few drinks as well and I just thought I'm not going to be the most inconspicuous. I tend to go into animated character mode when I've had a drink and start creeping around like a Scooby-Doo villain and laughing. And yeah, I mean, we're lucky these are in one piece, to be fair. So there's a clue for you. Let me know in the comments, pause the video at the end of this bit and let me know in the comments what you think these are. Let's play a game. Let's see who gets it right without cheating. And I'll know if you're cheating because I can see what time you've commented. Saying that you could fast forward. So it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> but let's have fun. Let's play the game. No cheating. What do you think this is? And what do you think this is? One of them is breakable and the other one, well, yeah, probably is breakable if you threw it hard enough. But then most things are, aren't they? Let's see what you think. Okay, here is what I've been given and what I bought. So I will go through it all individually. My friend Laura gave me this um, recipes binder. Um, I don't know whether this will be worth selling. I do need to do some comps on it, so we'll see. Um, feel free to comp as we go and let me know what you think in the comments because at this point I have no idea. I've got this lovely glittery next jumper which will go on vinted. Um, this Christmas rules plaque which is lovely, this will go nearer to Christmas. I'd probably put this on eBay and Etsy and the same with this, playroom rules. Um, just another plaque, yeah. I mean, these won't go for big money because you can pick them up all over, but somebody somewhere might like this and they might not be able to get out to get stuff like this. So it probably will go um, only a few pounds each, I would have thought. So they are what I've had given. Um, these trainers as well are my daughter's. So they have a hole, in, not a hole, but maybe a divot out of the sole in the bottom. So I'll need to disclose that in the listing. But whatever I get for those, I give a half. That's the deal. So yeah, I'm going to sell those for Hayley. And then, can you see what was wrapped up? <laughs> so first of all, I picked up this Highland Tweed cushion. Now, first glance, I thought it was actually a cushion made by Highland Tweeds. But I think this, as Rob has pointed out as well, we think it was a scarf and it's been made into a cushion cover, which is still really cool. So it was five pounds. I think I am gonna list this on Etsy and eBay and see what happens with it. Um, tweeds and wool that is made in England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, all do really well. Um, so something like this, I just saw it in, I tried to comp it, couldn't find anything for obvious reasons. It's rare because it's handmade um, from a scarf, we believe, like I say. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that's what we think. But yeah, um, I should get good money for that because it's a rare item. Then I've got these three cassette tapes. <laughs> now, these aren't worth a lot on their own. I think now nine is worth about nine pound. Peters and Lee about six and flying pickets about three. But what I'm doing is I am collecting cassettes. I've already got an album by Chris Rea, can't remember what it was. But every time I see one that I think looks good, I'll buy it. Now, I will be truthful with this bundle. It was three for a pound. There was no prices on the um, on the cassette tape area. So I bought, only wanted now nine. And when I got to Tilly, said, oh, they're three for a pound. So I thought, well, I may as well go get two more. So Rob picked flying pickets for me and I picked Peters and Lee. So, yeah, I'm going to put these aside and do a bundle eventually because when I go to car boots and things, you come across stuff like this all the time and they can be dirt cheap. I won't pay a lot of money for them, though, I will say. Um, three for a pound is probably about right. I think the most I've played, paid for a cassette has been a pound. Um, so I'm going to keep them and do a bundle eventually because I think they'll go pretty well. 
I know now bundles go pretty well on cassettes and vinyl too, so something to look out for. And here are the two things that I had wrapped up. So this is a marble vase and a lovely little teapot. Now, the reason I picked the teapot up, I looked at it and I thought, that's nice. I've had something like that before. I Google lensed it and someone had exactly the same thing listed for £40. And marble vases, I can't leave marble alone. I love marble. So if I see anything marble and it's in good condition, I will buy it. So I bought these two were two pound each in retrospect. What he did was I went to the till. This was supposed to be four. This was supposed to be three and they were supposed to be a pound. But he gave me the lot for five pound. He said, you can have all this for five pounds. So I was like, really grateful, really nice. Um, he probably thought there was something wrong with me though because I'd had a few drinks, you know, he probably felt sorry for me. <laughs> That's why he did it. But no, I wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah this is what i bought and i think to be honest even though i'd had a drink i haven't had my beer goggles on with buying which is good i haven't gone in and just bought anything I've, I've got some good things i think the cushion is pretty good like i say we think it's made from a scarf if you know different pop it in the comments and let me know what you think of what i got should i not go shopping when i've had a drink there is the question let me know guys okay so I wanted to say before I start um, that if any of you ever want to ask me a question in the comments or anywhere else um, and you want to be anonymous, just write it in the comment and then I won't say your name because I do apologise to anybody who I have given them a shout out because I just assume if you ask me a question, you, you want a shout out. So if you don't want a shout out, let me know and in future I will make sure that I don't Put your name in i will just read out the comments um right so on that note um i am gonna talk a little bit now about um self-assessment tax returns it's that time of year isn't it we've had our letter through we're gonna have to sit and do our books i am putting it off like you would not believe to be fair though we've had a lot going on we've had my daughter's birthday then we've had my birthday and we've we've had a lot of stuff happening so we haven't really had chance and then today we're playing catch up because we had a day off because of my birthday which you know it happens so yeah it will get done but i've had a question on my one of my videos from russell brown so thank you russell for your question um he said thanks very informative video i'm still a little confused about the cost of goods do you deduct your cost of goods you've bought for the year even if some items that you have bought have not yet been listed or sold or do you need to keep a detailed inventory of what each item was bought of yeah what each item was bought for and the, that tax year obviously the latter would involve a lot more work yeah so everybody does this differently again i don't think there's a right or a wrong way so my husband rob he has a book and he basically records everything he writes in there he puts the date what it is and he puts how much he paid for it and when it sells he puts how much he got for it next to that i don't do that it doesn't work for me i've had a book and i tried and i just found it a lot of extra work which i never got round to filling in i was filling in everything that i bought but i was never going back to it to put what i'd sold things for and when i'd sold them so it got a bit to a point where it was building up that i needed to do it and i had to go back and i didn't have the time to do it so i just stopped so i would say that basically whatever you buy in a tax year you get a receipt for and you put that into your books and you take it off whether you've listed it already or whether you've you know whatever you've done with it if you've bought it for stock for that year then put it through your books for that year it keeps things being less complicated i think if you ever got audited or if you ever got an accountant they would want things with dates on for that year so if you forwarded it to the year after then it might get confusing because it'd have the year before's date on if you know what i mean so that's how i do it anyway and i hope that helps i know i don't always make a lot of sense but i hope that i do on this because it's important um yeah like i say the looming tax return is hanging over our heads at the minute so we are gonna have to get it done very soon and mine of course is going to be more complicated this year because i've got multiple platforms um i put everything through that i earn from my mrs england's emporium business 
um everything goes through that so all the sales all the money i bring in everything so yeah just keep it legit from the start that's what i say start as you mean to go on and then you can't get in trouble i think it's the only way but i hope that helps russell and thank you so much for your question what's in the box what's in the box <laughs> so before i start me and lisa have this game when we go out we go out sourcing we basically if we see a box we always do what's in the box what's in the box and then we open it and usually we go oh because there's nothing in there but it's one of those things we always do we've got into a habit of doing it it's fun this box was given to me by my daughter Haley. now a long time ago in the days of your before i started youtube no sorry <laughs> I'm at it again. A long time ago, um, before I started YouTube, Haley, I helped Haley set up an Etsy account. I did it in my name, so it wasn't the account I've got now, it was another one. And she was making earrings. It was just before, I think it was when we went into lockdown, or it might have been just before. But she she's always busy. She's so creative, my Haley. She makes so many things. And yeah, she made a load of key rings and coasters and things out of hammer beads, which I have on my Etsy now. Brilliant stocking fillers, guys. If you want to grab one for Christmas, go over and have a look. Anyway, she's made a load of earrings. And to say I'm proud of this girl is an understatement. She's amazing. She's going off to uni in September, which I am bracing myself for. I've already lost one child to uni <laughs> no it's a great thing i'm very proud but yeah as a mother if you're a mother you'll understand it's heart-wrenching when your kids move out you don't know whether they'll ever come back and yeah i don't mean to visit i mean just to come home i'm just like oh but anyway that's not the subject <laughs> the subject is how proud i am she's so busy she likes to be busy and when she hasn't got work on which she's got tons at the minute because her exams are starting today for her a levels um, she makes things, so she does paintings. Um, I can show you over there, that stitch she did. That is actually the backing of a bookcase that we had that fell down. And she said, I'm going to paint something on that. And she painted stitch and then gave it to me. So that's why it's got a little rivet, rivet out the back. It's supposed to be the back of a bookcase, but it's on the wall and it's got stitch on it. You can't see it all because he's hidden, but isn't that amazing? Anyway, back to this. So she's given me these because, yeah, she had an Etsy and we didn't manage to sell anything on it. At the time, I think, yeah, we didn't give it long enough when I think back. So I'm going to put these on my Etsy now. And obviously she's going to get the money because she made these. But I need to show you them because they're amazing. Bearing in mind as well, she was 15, 16 when she made these. They're all in this box and she bought all the stuff to make them look professional. So I'm going to show you them. And if you want any of these, message me on Instagram and we can I can sell them to you on there if you want them. So I need to work out as well. I haven't done a variation listing on Etsy for ages. So basically what that means is you can put on these earrings and you can put on that they come in different colours so people can pick the colour. So just basically like a normal website when you go on and buy a dress and you're like, right, I want it in red. So you pick red. You can do that on Etsy. But me and technology, not great, but I'm sure I'll work it out. I worked it out with the key rings. So she's made like gummy bear earrings. Here's some purple ones, some orange ones. They've all got like these hook backs. Um, then she's got... These ones that say sweet on them, I believe they are sweets. Um, these ones, I love those. Lollipops. Um, and then she's got these ones that have got like a, a metal bottom with like a silver top, gold metal bottom with a silver top. And then she's got gold metal bottoms with um, purple jewels with red. See, I've got to go through all these and we've got white gummy bear i'm gonna have to put them all into piles of what they are but aren't they amazing 
she spent hours hours and hours doing these now i can't wear these earrings unfortunately because i have a allergic reaction to metals especially in my ears that aren't gold or silver my ears have expensive taste so i can't wear any but i would if i could i love those with the leaves they're gorgeous she's got so many she's got beaded ones there's some more sweet ones in a different color um, another pair of gummy bears orange and then green you see my eldest loves stuff like this so i'm gonna show them to her and see if she wants to start off Haley's kitty with a few obviously she'll get a discounted price can't give her them for free though otherwise i'll have to buy them <laughs> she spent so much time I wish I could do stuff like this. I have not got the patience, but yeah, you get the gist. There are loads. There's loads of these. Um, these ones are a little more dangly, if you see what I mean. They've got leaves and then leaves off the bottom. They're lovely. Let's see if there's any different ones that I can show you. I think they're all variations now. Oh, there's a different one, look, with a the bead. There's just loads. Green. I'm sorry guys who watch my channel I know you won't be particularly excited by this but I just needed to show it because my daughter has spent all this time making these earrings and I just think they're amazing so yeah they're just basically different variations oh there's some different ones look the metal bottom and the green beads at the bottom uh, yeah so I'm going to be a busy bee getting these on my Etsy and hopefully I think some should go for Christmas people like stuff like this to put in their um put in their stockings don't they and they're perfect for young adults or ladies like me who like to be a little different I just think they're really cool She's got some really nice ones. They've all got these lovely cardboard backings. She spent ages doing this, putting them all onto cardboard backings. And there's me messing them up. Messing them up in the box, I mean, not in the cardboard. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And like I say, if there's any you like the look of, give me a shout. Some black ones, black gummy bears. They're cool. Some more metal ones. Yeah, they're just really nice. She's spent a lot of time. These have been made with love, people. So anybody fancies any, there's some more sweet ones, look. Anybody fancies a kooky pair of earrings, let me know. I aren't listing them today because I've got millions of parcels to do, but I'm going to put all these back in here nicely now. I've just chucked them all over, look. <sighs> some people just vandalise things. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of earrings here. I think I'm going to try and sell them for probably £4.99 each. I'll probably do free postage because I can stick them in an envelope and hope that people don't rip, rip us off. I'm going to write in the um, description as well that my daughter made them. So hopefully that would deter people from saying they haven't got them. Or I might just go completely against that and just send them tracked anyway. But I'll need to work out how much I can put them on for to make money for her. But yeah, it'll go to her uni fund. Cool though, eh? Yeah, I'm so proud. <laughs> so I just had to show you. I've just sorted them out. And I found these as well. A lovely like pearl. Fake pearl, obviously. Pair of earrings. But yeah, they're the variations of that one. We've got the most of the gummy bears. We've got some lollipops over there some sweets some of the oval metal ones a couple of pairs of these um colorful beads one pair of the dangly ones with the with the leaf with the leaves coming off all of those were just singular leaves round metal ones and sweetie ones so the most we've got are the gummy bears so i'm going to get them all back in there now but just wanted to show you those how pretty are they yeah just got these sales to show you so i'm just about to package these up and we're going to take them hence why i'm wearing my jacket <laughs> i 
Now I've been hanging the washing out and I was a bit cold so I put this on but yeah we are going to take these soon. So I sold this, um, I haven't had this very long, it's a Snoopy money box. Um, I sold this on Etsy for £35, that's including postage and it's going to someone in the UK so that's really cool and it does have its stopper which is quite rare with money boxes. Um, I have already shown this, I believe, but I thought I may as well put it in again. Um, this is a super dry cap. This has gone for four pound plus postage. This, um, this is a Maasai dress, Maasai clothing company dress. Um, this has gone for sixteen pound forty nine plus postage, and this sea salt dress has gone for twenty pound plus postage. This I've had for ages. It is a bespoke um, Ab Fab t-shirt. When you know, you know. Patsy Stone. Um, it's obviously been cut, but it's, yeah, like I say, it's bespoke crop t-shirt. This has gone on Vinted for £10 plus postage. I have had, I couldn't tell you how many watches, favourites, you name it, I've had on this for donkey's years. No, it's been a long time. They're probably getting on for a year. And yeah, it's gone. £10 plus postage. Happy with that. Right, so these are the parcels we're taking today. And we've got two more that we're going to take tomorrow because they're going to the post office. And we're going to go vote in the local election. So we're going to take these, drop them off, go vote, and then come back. But yeah, I'm going to put this, um, this uh, picture on my Instagram now. I can't even think straight. You'd think it was my birthday yesterday and I had loads to drink, wouldn't you? Which is a lie. I did have a couple, but we took it easy. It was all right. But yeah, that's the reason I'm probably a bit... Yeah. <laughs> but I've done these anyway. This one is the one that's going to Etsy. I've got one for Vinted and the rest are eBay. Right. I'm going to leave that there for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and I will try my best to cover them. Um, like I said before, if you send me a question and you don't want me to say your name in the video, please let me know within that question that you don't, you want to be anonymous and that is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, so like if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell for notifications Take care, be kind, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you all. Ta-ta.